Hey everybody, James here, and in this video, I wanna talk about why healthcare practices fail. The reason that most healthcare practices fail is because they don't have one of these four things. That is the attraction, the conversion, the retention of ideal patients, and the systems to help them reach more people and scale up. If you don't have the ability to attract patients consistently and predictably, then your business is gonna be stressed. It may grow, but chances are it's not gonna succeed in the way that you want, and therefore you're failing and you're getting burnt out. So goal one is to have systems in place that allow you to attract, convert, and retain patients on autopilot so that you have mastered the influx, okay? And, and I'm gonna to touch on this in a little bit, but the conversion and the retention is not just conversion and then retention, it's also how that plays out in everything that we do. So when we're attracting people, we have to attract them to us, we also have to convert them into that process and then retain them throughout it to get them to talk to us, right? But essentially, we wanna make sure that we have an attraction methodology. We have a way of consistently bringing people to us. The next thing is conversion. Conversion is how do we get a person to say yes to our offers? How do we get a person to say yes to our treatment programs and yes to when we offer them more programs in the future? If we're not converting our new patients into starting treatment properly, then we have a massively leaky bucket. Every new patient that comes through just falls out and disappears. The third is retention. If you are bringing in heaps of people and you're converting them well, but they're not sticking out their recommendations, they're not compliant, then they're gonna disappear and now your marketing cost is higher than your, or higher closer to your lifetime value of a client. So let's say you spend $100 to attract a person into your practice and their lifetime value is $1,000, i.e. they spend $1,000 in their lifetime of working with you. Then you make $900 profit, right? Just from that math. Now let's say you're retaining people half as much, then they're only spending 500 bucks. If you're retaining them a tenth of that, then you make $100 for every $100 you spend and so your business is not profitable and doesn't work. And that's the case for most healthcare practices is they're not retaining people and they don't have the good enough systems to bring in enough people. So those who come in are more expensive because they don't have a system for attraction and then they're not retaining them so the lifetime value isn't there. And in the middle is that conversion. If they're not converting them properly, then they're never gonna retain them, their attraction is pointless, and so the business starts to die. And the last thing as to why healthcare practices fail is because they don't have systems in place for the management and scaling of that practice. If you don't have the right systems, then everything's on you as the owner operator. That creates stress and overwhelm, you get burnt out, and you just give up and go, I don't wanna do this anymore. And so many practice owners that I speak to are feeling that. They're feeling tired, they're feeling frustrated, they're feeling plateaued and stuck. The things that used to work don't anymore, or they just don't know what to do to grow, and so they're just waiting for people to find them through word of mouth and referrals. But if you really wanna grow a successful business, a seven-figure business, a hyper-successful healthcare practice, you need to have the ability to attract, convert, and retain your ideal patients and the systems in place to scale that up. Some of those systems include staffing, contracts, booking systems, systems of standardized assessment, systems around standardized uh, recommendations, uh, treatment protocols, systems around getting associates uh, or practitioners to scale your reach, your ability to see more people. You can't build a seven-figure practice on your own particularly easily unless you wanna work all hours of the week. You need to ha be have, having the ability to hire people, bring them in, and then it work. And so my client Deanne, for example, went from $10,000 per week in revenue to $28,000 per week. And that happened because she had conversion and retention. She had some of the systems, but what she didn't have was the ability to attract people and she didn't have the ability to retain her associates because she didn't have systems in place to attract those people on autopilot. And so once she started working with me, we were able to scale that up. Within six weeks, her, her associate was starting to get booked up. Within five months, she had four associates, added $750,000 in revenue to her practice. Um, was killing it and she's been able to scale up ever since then and she did it with an already successful business what if you're running a business that's not successful imagine what kind of results you can get just from going from the ground to getting to six figures my belief is that six figures is the mark where we start to have abundance we have abundance of options we have abundance of finances we have an abundance of uh, energy and all of those things allow us to have more impact with our clients and have a better lifestyle which is why the three tenets of the practice mastery program is income, impact, and lifestyle. We have to balance all three 
so that you're serving people, serving yourself, and having the lifestyle that you deserve, and having the things that you want, and the ability to do the things that you want to do. And that comes from that attraction, conversion, retention, and systems. And I keep saying it because it's so important. If your business is failing, if your healthcare practice is failing, or it's not achieving success in the way that you want, which is a failure, then it comes down to one of those four things, or more than one of those four things, is not working inside your practice. And if you want to find out how you can optimize those things, if you want to find out what is and isn't working, if you just want to learn some stuff so you can have a more of a successful practice, then I want you to check out the link that I'll put around this video. It's jamesnielsenwatt.com forward slash free hyphen training. That's jamesnielsenwatt.com forward slash free hyphen training. Check that out, watch the training. And if you feel like working together is going to be helpful to you and helping you achieve your goals, which I, I believe that it will be, um, but I want to know what you think as well. I want you to check out the free strategy session that you can book after you sign up for that free training. It's a 45 minute strategy session. We jump on the phone, we have a chat, we discuss where you're at, we discuss where you're trying to get to. I can see whether or not I can help, whether we're a good fit. And if we are, we'll talk about what it is that I have to offer you and whether that's gonna be ideal for your situation to helping you achieve your goals. I have clients that are associates working in someone else's practice. I have clients that have nothing and they're starting fresh out of school or they've been employed and now they're starting their own healthcare business. I have clients that are working in the insurance game and they're wanting to go more into cash-based. I've got clients that are already doing seven figures but are wanting to double because they don't know how to reach more people. Clients that have multiple practices, multiple practitioners, clients in about 20 different healthcare industries and seven different countries. And I say all of this because it's not to brag, it's to literally say that chances are I've experienced what you're going through, I understand what we need to do to, to change it personally and I've been able to replicate those changes with my clients and create results for people in your situation. Okay, so check that out, book a strategy session, let's chat, let's see if we can help you scale up, and as always, as always I'll see you guys next time.